in the previous video we looked at how to create a custom solution in this video we'll start adding components to that custom solution so to add components to that custom solution i'm just going to open the solution first okay so these are the different types of components which you can add to your solution okay you can add some entities option sets client extensions web resources etc you can also create a new uh, type of component that is you can create a new entity option set web resource etc okay so let me first create a new entity okay so i'm going to call this entity as sports okay Then I'm going to make it appear in the sales entity. I'm going to change some properties of the entity. Then I'm going to save it. Okay. So now my entity is created. Okay. So before I actually close this entity, I'm going to change the manage properties. So to do that, I'm just going to click on Manage Properties. I will explain what is this Manage Properties when uh, when I'm talking about unmanaged and managed solutions. But just observe what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be changing some managed properties. For example, I'm going to uh, make the display name not editable. That is, I'm going to set display name can be modified to false. Similarly, no new views should be created. Also, charts. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, save it by just clicking on set, saving it, and then publishing it. Okay. So now it's published. We can also add different types of components other than entities like option sets, processes, web resources, etc. Okay. So to add one of the existing components, let's say I want to add one of the existing uh, entity. So just click on that add existing and choose entity. And then choose the entity which you want to add. Let's say I want to add the account entity. Click OK. Now, over here, you need to choose what are the components which you want to add in that account entity. For example, what are the forms you want to add, what are the views you want to add, charts, etc. Now, if you want to add all the components of the uh, account entity, just click on add all assets. What this will do is it will add all the forms, views, charts, fields, etc. To this particular solution okay now if you do not want to do that and just like you know add a specific component like for example let's say that you want to add just these two fields then just select them like this and similarly if you want to add just one chart like for example this one just select it similarly a view select it and then just click on finish Okay. So before I do that, clicking on include entity metadata will help you in customizing ribbons. Now, if you want to customize the account entity's ribbon, then what you need to do is you need to include the entity metadata. So all the ribbon properties, like that is what are the buttons which is available in that form, like save, save and close, etc. All that is defined in the entity metadata. So if you want to customize your ribbon, you need to include the entity metadata. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to click on finish. And that will be added. Okay. Similarly, you can add option sets. So in the option sets over here, 
what you can do is you can add the global option sets okay there will be some global option sets which is already there in your organization like you have all these different types of global option sets which is there and if you want you can uh, add all those option sets to your solution okay so there's a total of 160 global option sets which is there in your organization and you can choose to add them in your solution so to do that just click on any one of them and just click on ok ok alright so I'm not going to do that so similarly you can include the client extensions that is you can include the sitemap and application ribbons so if you want to make any changes to your sitemap or uh, or if you want to like you know add I mean add or remove a button for the entire organization then you need to include the application ribbon and if you want to like you know customize the sitemap include the sitemap similarly for web resources processes plugins etc so in web resources if you want you can add a new web resource that is you can start creating a new web resource in this custom solution and uh, and go through that process of creating it and saving it and publishing it over here or you can like um, add one of the existing components which is already there similarly for processes plugin assemblies SDK messaging steps etc okay so this is how you add the different types of components to your custom solution now if you want to remove any of the uh, components which is already there then all you need to do is just select it like this and then click on remove okay that what that will do is it will remove that component from your uh, solution so now this solution is ready to be used so before i do that i'm just going to save it and then publish the then I'm just going to save and close. In the next video, we'll look at unmanaged and managed.